As a scholar, he's charted the decline in religion. Now the church he pastors is closing its doors. Associated Press First Baptist's pastor, Ryan Berg, spends much of his time as a researcher documenting the dramatic decline in religious affiliation in recent decades. Berg has witnessed the reality of his research every Sunday morning in the increasingly empty pews of the spacious sanctuary, which was built for hundreds in the peak church-going years of the mid-20th century. Below are your comments. I was born during WW2 and was raised in a devout Catholic family but it just never stuck with me. W. When I was 18, I left home by enlisting in the Marines and I also left the Catholic Church. For a time, perhaps four or five years, I sampled other denominations and found them pretty much the same. Certainly no better than the Catholic Church but what surprised me the most were the Southern Baptists. T. Southern Baptists are supposed to come to their beliefs through the study of the scriptures and Dev. Lop a personal relationship with God. The fact is, that personal relationship is predetermined. The Southern Baptist, from my experience, are not into free thinking. Why go into this? By the time I was 25 years old, I no longer participated with religion and I have not missed it once. Dot. I am a proud nun and find satisfaction in knowing the nuns are growing. To think, we might be 30% of the population is comforting because I have come to fear the Christian nationalist in this nation. They are going to ruin a good nation. Being a boomer growing up going to church was something the family did every Sunday. However, hearing that heaven is above the clouds and then seeing men land on the moon. Hearing God loves everyone and yet lets bad things happen to others when he supposedly could stop it. Dot. Seeing local kids come home to be buried during Vietnam. Seeing people who cared more about their beliefs than caring for others. Common sense kicked in and I realized there was no Christian God. There may be a God however that is why it is called faith and not fact. I was raised in a missionary Baptist church. When churches started preaching politics instead of the gospel I, like many others, left and haven't been back. It's the hypocrisy and the obvious state of failure of Christianity that is pushing people away. 2,000 years of Jesus teaching in the homes and churches and now they claim they need the seven hours of P. U-B-L-I-C school time for Jesus pushing because there are still so many sinners out there. And the hypocrisy don't steal like Donald Trump. Zero zero. Do not lie like Donald Trump. Do not commit adultery like Donald Trump. Do not engage in idol worship like we do with Donald Trump. Watch us love the poor by hating the poor, it's the same thing. Do not engage proudly in the seven deadly sins like Donald Trump or we might make you a Christian leader. Like Donald Trump. An unrepented sinner will never enter heaven, except for Donald Trump. God saved Donald Trump from a bullet, but is always napping every time school kids are shot. Just not. Hing but glaring hypocrisy. Zero zero. No doubt demographics are probably driving the majority of change but I also see a general decay in 
The current evangelical leadership and their willingness to allow rogue preachers to spew their wit. E. Nationalist hatred. There is a congregation not too far from us that changed pastors during COVID and the new pastor IMM. Immediately drove a wedge that led to an exodus of parishioners. This congregation went from 150 down to 30 within three years. The hierarchy doesn't know what to do and will probably wind up closing that church and allow the PA store to go somewhere else to rot that congregation. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.